It's October 4th, 2009. Here we have a giant amaranth, amaranthus hybridus hybrid plant. This plant is completely sterile. You won't find any seeds on this. This one's no exception. I've grown these last year. Most of them are about 18, 19 foot. This plant is approximately 22 feet long. So this is a personal best for me. It's quite big as you can see. Not entirely straight, it fell over, but gives you a rough guess estimate of how tall it is. Now this kind, we've got some red roots here. These are very heavy plants. The stalks on these, unlike the giant amaranth, are not anywhere near as hollow. Big stalk, heavy, heavy plant. So I attached a ruler over over here at the base of one of the roots near the base of the plant. We only got one foot. And we got here three foot. What was that? Four, five. Let's move on down here. We got eight foot. Ten. Twelve foot, thirteen, fourteen. Let's get these leaves out of the way. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, we have all the way, I wish I could straighten this out some, the stock's very bent, here's the 22 foot mark, you can see it right where my pinky is, they're almost there. Final tassels, like actually, you could almost, yeah, but oh, I just broke it <laughs> about 21 foot 11 inches, 21. so that's one big plant. New personal best for me. Now, easy way to tell one of these hybrids is that they're red, they're sterile. I've yet to ever see a seed on any of these. You can see the, uh, maybe on the film here, you can see the leaf veins are red on these, which you don't get on the giant amaranth. Giant amaranths are entirely green. The stalk, a lot of red in the stalk as well. Now, they're not all identical in the way they look. Pretty common look to them, though. Some of them look more like the amaranthus hybridus. Some look more like the Amaranthus australis, the giant amaranth. This one looks more like that. Those ones tend to be a little taller. I've seen variations of these though, but uh, for the most part they usually look like this. The leaves look very much like the giant amaranth. Sometimes you get red in the stem. This one, this one you have, but other ones you have, I have seen where it was entirely green. But that is one big plant. New personal best for me. Now I have one at my work over in Princeton that's probably close to this. So we'll see how that one ends up. But now I have a whole bunch of uh, hybridous amaranth just so you see what the one parent looks like. So here's these. So hopefully I'll get some. Uh, a lot of flowers starting to form. Hopefully we won't have a frost anytime soon. I also have one of these this year that looks like a pure one that's almost 20 foot tall. So that's going to be also a personal best because that'll be the first time I've ever seen an amaranth other than a giant amaranth or tidal marsh amaranth over the 20 foot mark. I'm so close. I don't know if I'm going to do it. It'll be real close. I think it's about 19 something foot. Could be 20. I don't know. I have to actually get out and measure. But once it's ready, 
but bugs are damaging this a little bit. But this this is the the mother of that plant, this variety, the hybridus. This one fell over. So you can see these stalks are much thinner. These are a lot slower growing. This variety's from uh, Zambia. Okay. Stay tuned, we'll have some uh, more videos for you soon. Thank you.